Greetings fellow citizens of Disneyland. Ricky here. Today's adventure, we're gonna look at the lines of Disney's brand new land, Avengers Campus, which I'm very, very shocked that Disney didn't do the mobile queue that they did for the Star Wars Galaxy's Edge back in 2019. But uh, it is what it is and it's breaking the park just a little bit. So let's check out just how crowded it is Disney's California Adventure. Due to the fact that Avengers Campus has just recently opened up, and man oh man, it is a small, small land with a huge, huge demand. Let's check out the lines and see how crowded it is DCA. Well, the first bit of good news is, is that this area over the weekend, that's right, the World of Color viewing area was loaded, loaded with guests. So five days later, this already shows that it has slowed down a little bit. Whether it's the demand, whether it's being a weekday or whether maybe Disney is better on top of the situation. But we do see that this area through here is not covered with people as it was all weekend and even into yesterday. I love that kind of Disney magic. Let's walk over to the head of Avengers Campus, see where the line forms, and then backtrack to see how long it is. So already a good indication of just how DCA is in general. We're here in the center of the Pixar Pier Bridge that overlooks Paradise Bay. But then if we snake back towards Little Mermaid, we can see that the line is beginning right around the middle of the bridge. So you already have Incredicoaster backed up to the bridge. And when I got here earlier, it was going all the way down to the end. Now, during normal Disneyland, that would mean that it was a very busy day and that the line was very backed up. But during physical distancing, that probably means that the line is around 25, 30 minutes. And I would also indicate that it was just there minutes ago, literally minutes ago. So these lines move fast. They are long and somewhat misleading when you compare it to different times. But uh, these are indeed the different times. So here it is. This is the moment when the line actually ends. And if you notice, all of these folks are facing us. And then on the back sack, sitting on the edge of the platform and you see those folks sitting there that would indicate where the line is actually going back so the people facing us are further back in line than the people on the outer edge of pacific wharf that are facing back towards avengers campus which means they've already waited all this way down and they've done the flip and they're now headed back to the campus So there are a couple of moments like this where you see the line breaks in the middle to allow people entryway into Pacific Wharf. And then you can see the cast members there will wave over a couple of guests on that interior line that's headed back to the campus while the people on the exterior line wait for their instructions to move forward. So right now we're seeing a pretty healthy amount of people returning toward the campus and it looks like they're stopping the line now, which means at some point, the exterior line will work its way back up and then we'll see these folks move. But uh, this is an incredibly long line for these times. And every time I see it, it just, it confuses me. Why are we not doing a digital line? And here is our next breakaway in the line where you can see coming and going both ways. They have cut this opening here to allow people down Route 66 to make their way through Cars Land. Uh, the exit for Avengers Campus is up in the far corner of Cars Land. So who knows, maybe some of these people exited and have already been there, but you definitely feel sorry for the people on that outer line because you know just how far they have to travel to end up right back where they are right now, seeing the folks on the interior line of returning to Avengers Campus. Now we're coming up around the backside where you see all the people that are congested waiting for the Spider-Man show. And Spider-Man is up there on top of the roof right now. 
Now it is pretty windy and I'm curious if they will let it go, but you can see right there, that is where the line is forming to get into Avengers Campus. And due to the Spider-Man show and peaks into the land, it is very congested through here. He's just disappeared. Let's see if he actually flies. Here's the count-up music. you right now that never ever gets old it is exciting every time i've seen it four times now and i just love it so here we have the line for people that are returning to go to web slingers so they were lucky enough to get the boarding group at 7 a.m or again at noon but then over here is where that line forms that goes all the way back to where world of color begins so you really see the link and then this is just the chaos of people that haven't been able to get in, but want to get a really good view of the flying Spider-Man Stuntronic. Friends, here's my final thought on the idea of a line going all the way from Avengers Campus, back, 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 way back to where World of Color starts. This could have easily been avoided. It was avoided with Star Wars Galaxy's Edge with the mobile boarding pass, but I'll give you one even different. It was avoided with free Buena Vista Street. If you remember back in November, after the opening weekend, you would go out to the Esplanade. There was these various different signs where you would scan your phone. It would put you in a mobile boarding waiting, let you know how many parties were ahead of you. And then easily you could shop around downtown Disney waiting for your chance to be one of the citizens of Disneyland that could go into Buena Vista Street. It just boggles my mind that you wouldn't offer the same amenities that you give to your free customers to customers that are buying your single most expensive ticket into the park. Like it, as a business person, it doesn't make sense. And as a fan of Disneyland, it, it definitely doesn't make sense. This is a brand known for exceptional customer service. And this is not that, sorry. But not sorry, because it is my responsibility to tell you the things that are wrong with the park so that you know that you can trust me when I tell you all the things that I love about the park. Avengers Campus, I think it's great. I think it's fun. I hope that it stays as active as it is. But what I'm not happy about is how these guests are getting treated and how many of them might not make it inside of Avengers Campus when that's specifically what I'm sure most of them bought a ticket for, is to get to experience this new land and keeping them locked out. It just will not only take away their ability to get to enjoy Avengers Campus, but their ability to enjoy the rest of the park as well. Think about five hours in line at DCA, or three hours or four hours. This is a small park. You can crush a lot of vibes inside that window. You can definitely do something that is more fun and feels more rewarding than standing in this line. To me, the thing that is most aggravating about this is it is for nothing. There is no reason to make these people burn this much time in this kind of heat when these folks could be able to go around and to eat, have snacks, ride attractions, and spend quality time with their family members and friends, not getting angry and frustrated waiting in a super long line. Like, I, I'm okay by following the rules as long as the rules make sense. And to me, this simply doesn't make sense because it could all be avoided. And I know this because it's been avoided in the past. So, you know, I love Disneyland, I'm a huge fan, and these people are huge fans too. They're the type of people that show up opening week, they're willing to stand in line because they love it that much, and I just think that it's simply wrong for them to have to go through this human endurance. Uh, and I know, at the end of the day, there's rougher things that people are going through uh, than standing in line at Disneyland, but to that I say, it's Disneyland and it's supposed to be fun. And a five hour line is simply not fun, it's not enjoyable, especially in the non-AP days when you've got $154 burning while you're burning in the sun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you gonna wait a little while to let it dissipate? I put up a video explaining the best way to guarantee that you get in to Avengers Campus. It's a strategy that I would recommend to locals. And then I also give this advice to anybody from out of town that's only got one shot to get in. 
show up early. And I mean show up as early as you can imagine because it will work in your favor. Please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you like this type of coverage, consider following along with the channel and subscribing and ringing that bell when you do because every time I'm at the resort, I always do a live stream providing a window in the magic to take you here with me. So friends, until the next time I see you not waiting in a four or five hour senseless line, I'll see you back here on the channel with more Disneyland updates. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to Club 1313 for making today's video possible. Ha <laughs> ha